Good everyone, and welcome to today's bonus video. As I've already said, I need Gladiator Mark 1 Spade Review, and obviously the patch overview. And today we have the M8 LAC. Now, obviously I did cover the stats in the Gladiator battle, which was 8 air kills, 7 ground targets, and 3 deaths. Pretty good result. But when I looked at the M8 LAC, I was actually fearing that it wouldn't have the 50 cal. But it does, and I am bloody thankful it does, because it is such a great weapon. Combine it with a 30 cal and a 37mm that can fire at 3.7 well, reload rate at least. It's amazing. I absolutely like this thing. Obviously, you won't see these decals that I've put on it. I've put on it to wind up TTT a bit. Um, including the Viking helmet, because, well, why not? And obviously, it's the first Chinese tank quotation marks that I've spaded. Now I've actually broken my rule as I mentioned in the gladiator battle. Um, I don't normally tend to drive a vehicle if there's nothing to research at the moment when it comes to a new tree. Now I did break my rule and to be honest I don't really care but I'll still get bonus points anyway. But um. <laughs> This was a lot of fun, this little armoured car. I did encounter a guy who was very questionably acting, so to speak. Like He was acting very weird by his playstyle and all that. But, I don't know. And, well, if you want my opinion on this easy anti-cheat, I think it's shit. Because, at the moment, me and Dave have seen... Well, we've seen some very questionable players, let's just say, that we think are cheating. Um, and I don't think this easy anti-cheat is going to be the saving grace that we're all hoping for. But obviously, until I get a confirmed cheater sighting, we don't know. But um, the M8 LAC, just to go back to normal topic, is obviously a light armoured car. It's a uh, well, it's armoured with 37 mm 50 cal up there on the top which you can see there which can elevate to like 60 70 degrees and a 30 caliber machine gun coaxially mounted the mobility when stock well half spaded i should really say isn't too bad i mean gets the job done um off-road performance in snow is bloody garbage if you're driving this thing in snow you might as well be driving a freaking bulldozer that's how slow it is once you get it on the roads, um, I topped out on Advance to the Rhine at 44 miles per hour till I had to hit the brakes because a T26 decided to go on the back road and um, I turned as hard as I could and obviously this thing doesn't have power steering because it's an armored car and I crashed into the wall at about 30 miles an hour. I only suffered light damage to the left tire and I managed to kill him, so that's always nice. But um. I'll go over the armor, obviously, because I don't need to go over the armor in a gladiator because it has none. But this thing's armor isn't exactly great, but obviously it's an armored car. So armor protection on the front, glacis plate here is 12.7 millimeters. Not bad, but not great. Lower glacis here is 15.9. Again, not bad, but not great. The driver's area and the co-driver's area is 19.1. Again, not great, but not bad either. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. The turret is actually pretty good for what it is. Obviously, 35 degree or well, 35 millimeters of effective armor, 19.1 of actual thickness. Then you get a slight overlap around the gun mount of 25.4, very similar to a Stuart. So imagine it as a more as a more scouty sort of like. Well, obviously you can't scout this thing, but I'm just using it to reference. And more of like um, a. I tried to think of a word here, like a more versatile sort of steward. Obviously, you can go backwards at seven miles an hour, which has got me out of situations. You will see it in this replay that I show you. But it's actually not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. Side armor, nine and a half. Nothing's going to be stopped by that. If you get shot on the side, you're dead. Same with your ass. You've got 9.5 around the outer section and five covering the rear. Obviously, the turret is 19 all the way around. And you are open tops. You will find a lot of planes will strafe you. So if you can use that 50, bloody use it is all I'll say. 
Now, sadly, I do meet my end in this battle, but I think it was my no, it was my first death in this car. And to be honest, I kind of deserved it because I aimed wrong. But my team was useless. Me and Dave had to hold off a four-man squadron solo. Just me and him. Like we managed it, but our team did nothing. So that's just typical teams, I'm afraid. So. Let's jump right in and let's have a look at what went off. So, obviously, me and Dave, we love to spade our vehicles, we, we always have. Um, and to be truly honest, like, this was actually one of the more fun vehicles I've driven in a long time. And I'm sort of glad I did spade this vehicle first. What's going to do the T26 and then save the M8 for another rainy day? But I thought, no. So obviously, you can see on the enemy team, there is actually a YouTuber in this battle, Mr. Jumonkey. So if you're here, sir, welcome. And <laughs> I did spot him eventually after like we dealt with the problem, so to speak, of the enemies. And if I recall correctly, I think this was either my first or second game in this car. Might be my first. In fact, I think it was my first battle in this car. Obviously, you can see there, stock rounds. Yes, it was my first game because I got um, I got the rounds after this. And what you want to pay attention to is the enemy team's CZSKE squadron. Obviously, here is Sergio Bunky, being himself. Obviously, he's obviously going to be working on videos for the Chinese tech tree so I'll look forward to those pal because um, I, I love watching Jim Monkey's content he's he like he likes to call people a git which probably the only time I see people um, calling someone a git but it's because he's British like me so I don't blame him personally if I call someone like a like if I see someone like being a cheeky person or something like that I'd say you little twat. It's just easier. It, it just depends on what you grew up with. But see, here you can see what I meant about the snow performance. I'm going up to one of my favourite spots and I'm doing four miles an hour. I swear, if I'd have just gotten out my crewman to get out and push, I probably could have doubled that speed. But unfortunately, you can't do that. I said, there's David, his bushed up T26 Chinese. Therein. Obviously, he didn't buy. I don't think he bought into the CBT. Um, and obviously, he's. I think he's already spaded the M8 at this point. If I remember rightly, he's already spaded it, or he's like, um, or he's like close to having it spaded, or he's got a skin to do. I can't quite remember. But he's bringing out the T26. But obviously, I look over here and I'm thinking, okay. We'll just have a look around, see what there is. Obviously, Sergio Monkey is somewhere. Um, I think he pushes up to the the F3 area, if I remember rightly. Because I do see him drop dead in his premium T26, which is rather funny, because I saw that on the minimap. So, obviously, the turret traverse on this thing isn't that great. Um, it's like 14 degrees a second, if I remember rightly. It's not great. However, unbeknownst to more, well, unbeknownst to me and Dave, we're going to have some surprise visitors up here. It's clear these guys knew what they were doing. And it's at this point where obviously I look to see where the 50 cal can elevate to, and that's actually pretty dang good. However, unbeknownst to me and Dave, there's a four-man seal clubbing squadron on our way. Three LACs. I'm just going to call them LACs. Obviously, there is a fourth, but he's not showing up. And they're heading right for me and Dave. We didn't notice at the time. And in a moment, I'm going to check that corner. And I think that is what saves mine and Dave's life. So I'm thinking at this point, I'm saying to Dave, um, this side looks clear. I'm going to go check the other side. And I'm fucking glad I did, because you're about to see what has happened. <laughs> I drive over thinking, oh, there's nothing wrong here, all oh, is fine. I pull up here and I'm like, oh my god. And I immediately hit reverse. 
As you can imagine, me and David are going to be shitting ourselves in a minute. And there's a four-man squad of M8 LACs rushing this position. You can see one there, two there. Third one's coming up the ridge. And there's a fourth one not too far behind. Obviously, me and Dave are going to have to work overtime now. And, well, there's one of them. Bronze CZ not paying attention. Commander Gunner, he starts backing up. But too late for you, pal. First kill. And obviously, Dave's taken out one of them. We're both like, what the fuck? Where have these guys come from? And he's like, right, I'll go around this way. You go around in reverse and flank them. So I'm like, okay, we need to do this quickly because they will have, well, they will be coming back most likely. So Dave obviously is flanking. I take out the second one for my second kill. Dave pulls around the back and disables, or kills, sorry, the fourth LAC. <laughs> we just dropped a four man squad. <laughs> they did nothing for their team. We dropped a four man squad of MA LACs. Just like that. Now, unfortunately, Mr. Jumunky is, well, I think he's going to perish very soon. But here is where the anti aircraft ability kicks in. 50 into 30. Pretty good combo. Is that poor bastard found a first kill? He did very slightly damage my second tire on the back to the left so I don't, I don't know what you'd call that tire like would it be an offside or something I don't fucking know <laughs> but, um, unfortunately Mr. Jumunky has been reduced to 1826 obviously we don't know where he is he's just appearing on the he's just appeared on the replay and I thought I'd see if I could find out where he is but that four man squad of T26's um, they're not going to do much else because obviously they don't have the mobility anymore me and Dave whooped their asses. And it is at this moment where I actually spot Jumonkey and I, I drop him a message in the chat because I always like to say hello to him. If I see him. You never know, I might make a bloody cameo appearance. It depends on if he uses it, obviously, I don't really mind. But he's having a cameo appearance here, so... Why not? But at the moment, me and Dave are obviously just standing firm to attention. Obviously, we are keeping an eye out because we know what's going to happen they might come back in backup LACs so we're looking around and here's a second I-15 and I'm sorry but if you get to hear Mardus speaking like that you better bloody listen if you don't know what I mean by Mardus um, it's a common nickname given to the 50 cal People call it Madus. When Madus speaks, everybody listens because you fucking should. <laughs> it's a 50 cal. But you can just see the amazement of the air battle happening above us. Obviously, me and Dave. Dear Dave can't really engage these aircraft, but I can. And it's just. I could hear that 50 going off every day if I wanted to. People have complained about it. I don't think it's that bad, personally. I, I, I think it's actually alright. So we're just waiting here at this point. Obviously, we're just watching the air battle happening above us. And... I just scored a crit on that I-15. It goes for a split air, so... Less than a thousand feet, and I get the second kill. And well, that's pretty much our contribution to the battle. I mean, Jumunky's just respawned in his T26 number 531. That is the premium one, which I'm not paying for it, so don't expect me to pay for it to, as soon as it's unlockable. Obviously, like I can buy it. I won't be paying for it, I'll be getting that thing for free. If I have to only grind one, I'll only grind the Hawk, get that unlocked, and I'll maybe buy the T26 at some other point. And there we go, Jumunky has finally presented a hello. <laughs> He's, he does like to pay attention to chat, but um, 
he spawns back in a gladiator and he's about to have a very bad day at the office. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it there, obviously. You can see Surge Monkey. He's had a pretty average game. I mean, it could be better for him, but hopefully he'll... Um, obviously show off his clusterfuck that he had in his gladiator. I saw him get swarmed and I felt sorry for him. But, um, so yeah, so the MA LAC, great car, do love it, and, well, I tell you this much, I might just slip a talisman on it, just so I can grind rank 1 and 2 China when I come back from, um, Edinburgh. But, um, Obviously, you've gotten two spade impressions at me today because I'm nice and I don't want to lose the footage and all that because it was a great little battle, this was. There was more kills and stuff from a brightly, but I'm leaving it here. But, yep, if you can, if you are going to play China, please do give the M8 LAC a shot. It is great. It honestly is. I mean, that 50 cal on top is just freaking amazing. It's so good at down in aircraft. Shameful thing is, obviously, if I'd have gone more aggressive, I could have killed your monkey, and I think he'd have hated that. <laughs> or if him, if I, what, seven biplanes that are up wouldn't have swarmed his poor ass, I maybe could have shot him down with a 50. We'll see, but... You never know, I might run into him at some point and I can whoop his ass. <laughs> we'll see, but anyway, I'll let you guys off. I'll see you all on the next one, obviously. When this comes out, I will be on the way to, well, not this one, the Gladiator. I will be leaving for Edinburgh around that time. When this video comes out, the MA LEC, I will most likely be in Edinburgh. So... Just a little heads up, I may not be able to answer your comments like I normally do, like in like 20 minutes, or even less if I'm active. Um, Might increase to a couple of hours, just bear that in mind, but I'm sure you understand. But anyway, I'll let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on MA LAC, and I'll see you all on the next one.